Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Sharns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what I usually like to do, I like to talk about all things crochet and usually sip a little bit of wine. But today I'm not drinking any wine. I have a cup full of hot cocoa to celebrate the holiday spirit because today we're going to be looking at uh, my top 10 quick crochet stocking stuffers. So if you would like to try any of these free patterns, they're all going to be linked down below. They're from amazing 10, or 10 amazing different designers. So like I said, those are all linked down to love below if you don't want to hear me talk. So let me hop into the chat and see what's going on. Where are you at right now in the world? What time is it? What's the weather like? For me right now, I'm in Pennsylvania, it's two o'clock and it is, it's 32 degrees, it's miserable. I swear, I haven't seen the sun in at least two weeks. When I wake up in the morning, it looks like 5 p.m. And at 5 p.m., it still looks like 5 p.m. I haven't seen the sun. I just see gray clouds in Pennsylvania. It's horrible. So let me see. Hopefully, it's a little bit better where you're at. So let me hop into the comments. Hey, we got one of my faves back. Hey, how you doing, Elena? She says, good morning up from Pentaluma, California. I hope you pronounced that right. What's up, Heather? How are you? Happy Saturday from BC, Canada. And thank you so much for joining. Let's see, I haven't got too many of my comments in yet. Sometimes there's like a little delay on what's going on in the comments. Here, here they come. Now I see it. I feel much better now. Usually like the first two minutes is crickets. Like nothing, nobody's here. But okay, now we got people popping in. Marty, welcome back. One of my new fave. I remember now so like vividly when I see Marty, for some reason, I think of Martha Stewart because I don't know, I'm just reading your name so fast. But what's up from Illinois? Jennifer, good afternoon from Kingman, Arizona. It's 43 degrees in Arizona too. Wow. That is only 12 degrees warmer than Pennsylvania. I bet at least you got some blue skies. Do you? What's up, babe? Sabrina Aguilera. Good morning, sweet Alicia and chat. So she's saying hi to everybody. Mm. So we're going to hop directly into this. This isn't going to be a very long live stream because unfortunately, I've been having a sinus infection for the past, I believe, month and a half. And it's affecting the way I read and talk. And I'm trying so hard to enunciate my words and try not to sniff and slight lisp my words because my nose is so stuffy all right so you and actually i want to do a giveaway today i want to give away uh how about a 15 dollar amazon gift card you don't have to do anything you don't have to donate or anything to get this amazon gift card i am going to ask you a question later in the live chat and the first person to answer correctly will win this $15 gift card. So this is going to be my little holiday thing for you. Because I think this is my last live stream for the year. I'm taking off next month. So not next month, this next couple of weeks. And I'll come back again in January. So this is only our live stream. Keep a listen out for some of the things that I say. And the first one to answer correctly will win a $15 gift card. All right. So before we hop into this roundup, I'd like to ask you, a question so y'all can get to know each other better and before you answer this question i want you to put a question mark in front of your answer so i know i can bring it up to the front and we can discuss it and everybody can see it so the first question is what did you want to be when you grow up when you was a little child what did you want to be what was your dream job that you always wanted to be when you grow up so before you answer make sure you put a question mark in front of it and we'll hop directly into this roundup. Here we go. All right, let me read this one for you guys get to watch me read behind the scenes. This one is called, let me scroll to the top of my reading list. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> the chapstick cheek cane wristlet. I swear my pockets are like Narnia. My headphones always get magically tangled up and my chapsticks always seem to run off with the lions. This chapstick keychain wristlet is such a great idea. It's so quick and easy to do. Last week I had Karen on the show and we were talking about quick things for uh, 
teens that you can crochet, something that they can actually need. I like things that can attach to keychains or attach to something so you won't lose it. For me, this chapstick holder is golden because I either lose mine in the bottom of my purse or that's it. I pretty much lose it in the bottom of my purse. That's what happens. <laughs> All right, let me go into the next one. Sorry, uh, my share screen is going to be a little bit slow because the back end has changed a lot on my uh, stream yard. So it's hard for me to present in a fast manner, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, this next one is called the... Uh-oh, I got it all out of order. The Quick Gift Mug Cozy. Super bulky yarn to the rescue. Make the most of your last minute preparations with this Quick Mug Cozies. There's lots of mug cozies out there, but this one is the fastest to make. Personalize it with a mug filled with bags of tea, coffee, or beans of candy. The designer of this pattern is Fiber Flux. And remember guys, you can find all these patterns free down in a link below. I have it all um, on my website that will take you to all these patterns. All right. So the question that I asked you, what did you want to be when you grew up? I'll go first. When I was a child, my dream job, I wanted to be an ice cream lady. Okay, have you heard of the ice cream man? You know, when you're little, he drove through the neighborhood with the beautiful sound of the do 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 of the ice cream truck, and just kids loved them and ran after him. When I was little, that's the job that I wanted. I'm like, that is the most magical job in the whole entire world. That's what I want to be. I want to be able to get on a truck, eat ice cream, and make other kids in the neighborhood happy. But what's funny? I don't see the ice cream truck in the neighborhood anymore. I live in a nice residential neighborhood where kids are able to easily run around and play and not get hit by cars. You would think the ice cream truck will come here during the summer. It doesn't. We did have one. We didn't have one for years, but this past summer, one ice cream truck man came once a week through the neighborhood. And he said he didn't get much business because most of these kids aren't playing outside. So, oh. I guess I'm glad I didn't do it because I guess there's not much uh, job opportunity for ice cream truck drivers anymore. I'm going to start down. Let's see. We got <laughs> crocheting agreement. Wanted to be a male lady. A Marty, a truck driver. Oh, train horses. Okay, we got a lot of regular things. Train horses. That's a little different. I like that. This is unique. It's not different. I can't, I guess I wanted to be a princess too, but Princess Kelly, that's what we'll call you. Marine biologist. Okay. You were reaching for the stars. I guess I was just wanting to drive an ice cream truck. You're a smart little kid. A nurse. Did anybody become what they always wanted to be? an oceanographer, an RN in a cardiac unit. That is a great job, Polly. But when you were a small child, that's exactly what you wanted to be. That is so specific. Wow. See, all these jobs now, I should have told you, what did you want to be? Slash, what are you now? How far off are you from what your dream job was? Maybe that'll be my next question teacher, social worker, a crown attorney. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Zia Cats. I like that name. A wild animal veterinarian who lives in a tree house. Yes. All right. I'm going to scroll down. I'm not trying to skip everybody. I'm going to scroll down and see if anybody else. I'm going to start from the bottom. Jen, this is what I wanted to be too. We are so like-minded. You wanted to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire. We should be friends. <laughs> okay, we got Princess Kelly and Princess Sabrina. Oh, and you want to be a movie star. <laughs> a librarian. That's a nice, quiet job. That, I used to love reading books so much. That would be the perfect job. Unfortunately, I haven't read a good book in... I'm an audiobook girl now. 
I feel like I don't have enough time or maybe I just got lazy. I used to just get lost in a book and just love it. But now I'm like, I feel like I need to be doing something else so I can put my audio book in, wash dishes, do laundry, crochet, whatever I need to do. And this will be my last one. Uh, Rita said, a nurse, but I settled for a medical assistant. You're still in a medical field. You want to do something where you get to see people, interact with people and help people. And that's what you do. And I heard nurses are super duper stressed right now. Nurses and teachers. In the U.S., that was the job to have for the longest. Nurses, teachers. And then, at least in Pennsylvania, there were so many teachers, you could not get a teaching job. It's like you got a teaching degree. You had to leave the state to find a job. Now, teachers, the schools are just looking for teachers because they're just leaving the business now. I guess it's not a business, school business, leaving the field now. All right, we're going to hop right back into this roundup. Let me close this one off. I did that one. I did that one. All right, let me share my screen. Present. There we go. And I think I still got one more comment up. This one is called the scroll candy cane lip balm holder. Another lip balm holder. I think this is almost like instead of a Christmas stocking, you get like a little chapstick holder. I think it's cute, but let me read what it says. Keep it fabulous and festive with these adorable candy cane lip balm holders. Oh, take a closer look at these green ones in the picture. Yes, you can put money in these too. These little guys are just under four inches tall, so you'll know you'll be able to whip them up in a jiffy. Look, this is a cute little money holder too. You know how you can buy the little envelopes and give a gift card? Put in a cute little candy cane. All right, let me pull up the next one. Like I said, presenting things on a screen now is so much more difficult. Share screen. I guess I don't have to narrate behind it because it's not necessary. All right, the next one, this is called the Hand Sanitizer Cozy. One second. Commemorate 2022 with a fan with a fast hand sanitizer cozy. It's a great gift that says I love you and I want to keep you safe. Plus, you can cut tie it with a little cord onto your purse or hang it from something in your car so you always know where to find it. Okay, since the past two years, hand sanitizer, of course, has been a necessity. And I like my small ones. I keep them in my car, I keep it in my purse, but the ones in my purse. They tend, I've had some bust open. The ones in my car will fall off the seat and go underneath the seat. So these are something nice you can like hang inside your car or hang off the outside of your purse or put on your keychain and carry around. So I think these little hand sanitizing cozies are pretty awesome. Oh, and I forgot to ask you your next question. So I'm going to ask you that now. So what was the one? Let me pull it back up to myself. What was the one Christmas or holiday toy that you always wanted? It doesn't have to be a Christmas toy. Whatever holiday that you celebrate this time of year, what was the one holiday toy that you always wanted but you never got? Remember, put a question mark in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. So I know there's always like a 20 second delay on a live stream from what I say to when I comment. So I'll go first. The one Christmas toy that I've always wanted and I never got. It was, of course, I had to been seven years old, so it was 1980 something. There's these little dolls. They were called crickets. Do you remember the Teddy Ruxpins? The Teddy Ruxpins were the toys where you put the tape cassette in the back and Teddy Ruxpin would read you a story and his mouth would move like a little animatronic. Well, they had a girl doll that did the same thing. I think her name was Cricket. And I wanted it so bad. I asked my mom, I'm like, please, please, can I have this doll? And on Christmas morning, I did actually get the doll. I was so excited. But I have two older brothers. My brothers are five and six years older than me. So if I was six or seven, they were in their teens. You know what I mean? They were older. 
they put one of their rap tapes inside of my cricket machine of my doll that was supposed to read children's stories and her mouth was moving too fast and there's too much music coming out and they broke my cricket doll the very first day christmas day my heart was broken that was the only doll i ever wanted so that's the story behind the gift i guess i did get it thank you parents but it's gone now so let me hop into the comments and see what you guys have I'll start at the bottom. Oh, you never got the Cabbage Patch doll? Yeah, the Cabbage Patch doll. See, we know what area you're from, too. So the Cabbage Patch dolls were the hot dolls. Uh, my grandmother got me my first one. It was the one with the um, soft material face. But then I later got the ones with the, you know, hard faces. I love how on the butt it said, what was her name? Xavier? Is that who made the Cabbage Patch? It was like written in cursive on every single Cabbage Patch butt. Um, easy bake oven. You felt like a special little chef and all it was like a little hot light bulb in the uh, top of a little square box. The easy bake ovens look different now. I think the ones that we had probably could have caught something on fire. Yes. Cheers to you. I wanted a Barbie dream house too. They were so expensive. I always just wanted any type of doll house. I wanted a doll house so bad. I mean, I had tons of dolls, but I didn't have a doll house. I had to like, you know, take shoe boxers or just whatever your child imagination and you would pretend to be fine. But I always wanted a doll house. I thought it was Maria, one of my faves. OMG, the Barbie dream house. I just turned 50 and I'm still waiting. You know what? Get yourself a Barbie dream house. You deserve it. I wanted a, I had, I didn't want, I had a Barbie Corvette. It was a remote control one, but it wasn't like a true remote control because the controller was still attached to the car. So it was a wired remote control Barbie Corvette. But of course, I think my brothers took that and played with it with their toys and broke it too. That was the pain of having um older siblings, boy siblings. Let me go up a little bit. Guitar. Everybody wanted this Barbie dream house. Yep, Barbie dream house. <gasps> the chatty Kathy doll. We, my mom, she has that. It's still at her house. She saved it. And she also has this doll. It's called, she got it when she was first born. It's supposed to be a my size doll. Uh, it's called Patty Cake, Patty something, but you're able to hold the hand and walk with you. It's about three and a half feet tall. It's like a really hard body doll. I want to get it restored because I guess when she was little, my, uh, Mother's sister cut off all the hair and oh, chatty Kathy doll. That's cool. And wasn't the chatty Kathy doll on a TV show? Or did a TV show make that doll famous? Hold on. Karen, if you know this answer, was this doll on a TV show? I feel like it was. Let me know. All right. So we're going to hop back into this roundup. And like I said, if this is your very first time here and you're watching this on the replay and you're like, where are all these patterns? They're all linked down free in the description box below. You don't have to worry about me chatting about all these. This is just a place where we get to look at stuff together and I get to know you better. Oh, and by the way, if you would ever like to help support my channel through Super Chat, you'll notice in the comment section where you can, well, the chat section, you'll see a little dollar sign. Through that, if you press that button, you're able to donate via Super Chat. Have your question pulled to the front, highlight it, and we'll have, let's see if I got my finger right, the lights will go off right here and the bubbles will go off right here when you do donate donate and you'll be able to spin the wheel of patterns all right let's see mm -hmm. wait this is what my mother had hattie play doll thank you so much i'm sorry Mrs. Beasley, that's where the chatty catty was. And that TV show was the little girl. It was a whole family. I, I, I love child uh, actors or child actors turned adult. I follow their careers as weird. So I know about that little girl. So 
bad life ending, but that's what I know about TV shows and stuff. And somebody, oh, okay, let me calm down. I am all over the place right now. Somebody donated via Super Chat, so let's see who that is. I think it's the cocoa that I'm drinking right now. My lights went off and I don't know why. Did somebody donate? Hmm. <gasps> somebody, did. okay, I found you. Sabrina, I found you, Sabrina. Sorry. <sighs> Thank you so much and cheers to you. And also we have another super chat. My another one of my faves, Elena. I hope you're having a wonderful couple of weeks off with your family, Alicia. Thank you so much. Wait, cheers, so you can see my mini Coco today. And because you both get to spin the wheel of patterns. So first up, my girl Sabrina. Share screen. There we go. Let's give this a spin for Sabrina first. First, so make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. All right. And the next. Elena, you get the, that's a choker. You get my choker crochet pattern. So make sure you email me, Elena, and, oh, let me scroll up, Sabrina at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And now everybody gets to see my butt as I turn off these lights. So... Okay, don't go away. I'm still here. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I got lost what I was talking about. Oh, okay, guys. Thank you so much for donating and everybody got their chairs. I wanted to tell you what is in my cocoa right now. This is my adult cocoa. I no longer drink just hot chocolate. This is just a tip for all of you guys. Anybody who's over a certain age, I'm like a little kid, but a big kid at the same time. I put collagen in my cocoa and that's how I drink it. This is the only way I can take my collagen. Collagen is good for your skin. It keeps it young and nice and fluffy. So make sure you take your collagen. All right, so we're gonna hop right back into this roundup. So I'm gonna ask you guys another question. Let's see. Hmm. What is your favorite holiday tradition? What is something that you do every holiday and you love it? All right, so remember before you um, answer that question, you're gonna put a question mark right in front of it so we know to bring it to the front. Let me share my screen. Do, 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 do. Next, we are going to look at the little, make sure I'm sharing my screen because sometimes I forget. The little, I lost it again. The little mermaid pencil topper. Personalize a pack of new pencils with a mermaid pencil topper for your mermaid obsessed doodler in your life. Or just go search free crochet pencil topper pattern and see what jumps out at you. I like this idea so much because it's cute, quick, and practical. The designer of this pattern is Knotted Ness. I think this is a cute pattern, something quick and easy. I think if you have, like you said, a little mermaid lover, your little princess, your little self, I would put this, no, I wouldn't put it on a crochet hook. I would definitely put it on top of a pencil or something. Okay, let me remove this one. Give you the next one. All right, so next are the Pyramid Lavender Bags. 
These many scent set <laughs> these many mint satchels are just over three inches tall. The pyramid design is so elegant, and a little ribbon holder really helps you give that gift the wow factor. Simply fill them with dried lavender or dried rice or essential oils. I think these are nice little things. I would put probably essential oils or lavender inside them and hang them from my car. Because, you know, that's a nice little place to have it. Or put one inside my purse. Hmm. I would probably stick them inside of a suitcase. These are the perfect cute little gift. All right. So we're going to hop back to the question that I asked you. What is your favorite holiday tradition? I'll go first. And remember, before you reply, make sure you put question marks in front of it and tell me exactly what it is. My favorite holiday tradition, my children, uh, they like share the same room on Christmas night. They've always, my daughter is 10 years older than my son. The whole plan originally was for my daughter to make sure my son stayed in his room and didn't come out when Santa Claus came to put the presents under the tree. But eventually it became a tradition where every single night, and not every single night, every Christmas Eve, my son sleeps in my daughter's room. Right now, my daughter is 21 years old. My son is 11 years old. And he was asking, oh, am I gonna have, do I, should I pull my mattress into Jada's room this year or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, it's such a tradition. I'm like, my daughter's gonna be like 30 and my son's gonna be 20 and they'll come home and they'll have to sleep in the same room together just because it's our Christmas tradition. All right, so I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down this time. Do, 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 do. Oh, about the, you wanted to know if it was collagen powder? Yes, collagen powder, definitely get it. My skin has improved so much, and especially I have bad joints. I heard they're supposed to be good for the joints too. Orange rolls for breakfast. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Let's see, Marty, making homemade cranberry salad. Sounds good. Baking cookies. Do you do it the night before, the day of? Are these Santa Claus cookies? Oh, remember, I'm talking about what is your favorite holiday tradition? Christmas tree up on Thanksgiving night and one gift exchange on Christmas Eve. Sabrina says, I'm sorry, I'm getting nasally again, so you might hear a little lisp in my voice. Christmas with all the kids get together. Christmas with all the kids get together, good gifts and photos. You know what? I'm so upset about all the times when I was younger and like my grandfather or mother brung out the camera, you know, the camera you had to crank to take pictures. And I was like, no, don't take a picture of me. I look back at some of them pictures where I was like embarrassed and I'm like, oh, those are, I should have I let people take pictures of us when we was having a good time. And now I realize I have no more tangible pictures. Everything is on my phone. Nothing is developed. I miss having a, I, an album, something to look through. All of my albums sent, seem to end in 2010 and I've added nothing to any photo album since 2010. I guess that's like the invention of the smartphone. Ew. All right. Every Christmas, my entire family goes to my aunt's house for the day. She lives in the in a beautiful Victorian home. We make foods all day, enjoy the food, and then see a movie in the theaters. That's a, that's a nice tradition. Martha says, getting together with family, cooking together, and enjoying each other's company. Okay, I'm going to try to get as many as possible. Opening presents, Christmas Eve's, Christmas potluck. Oh, boo, you have to work on Christmas. I feel your pain. There's nothing worse than, you know, everybody's like, what you doing on Christmas? What you doing on Christmas? Sometimes you heard the term essential worker during the pandemic, blah, blah, blah. But there's essential workers during the holidays, like where you just cannot get off. I used to work in group home settings where, unfortunately, the people who live in group homes, they don't get to go home for the holiday, so they need somebody to care for them. So therefore, I would work holidays too. And it was rough being away from the family, but at least you know you are giving somebody else some holiday cheer and spirit. Does that make sense? Miss Stephanie, let's see. 
Joyfully Ever After says, pancakes and pajama brunch with the kids and grandkids. My daughters host all 10 of us in her apartment. That is the best kind of holiday. When you have so many people jam-packed in such a small house, it just feels loved. I remember growing up, my grandmother had six kids. I have 24 first cousins. So imagine six kids with their spouses and my 24 first cousins. I mean, we all wouldn't come into town at once, but we would jam pack into my grandma. She had a two bedroom house. It was a small house, but you pick the seat. That's where you sit. The kids sat on the steps or, you know what I mean? We sat on the floor. We sat on the couch. You sat anywhere. It was just a good time with family being together. Where's my girl, Dee Dee? Hello, baking oatmeal raisin cookies and my granddaughter's recipe for ginger snap cookies. I haven't had a good ginger snap in, I guess, since last Christmas. <laughs> uh, mermaid, sleeping in, then having a nice quiet breakfast with my husband. We head to my parents in the afternoon for presents and dinner. That's a present. Sleeping in, sometimes you're not gifted any of that. Let's see. I'm going to scroll some a little bit. Who haven't I got? Samantha, presence and family. Uh, Princess Kelly says, before Christmas, I share some with my neighbors. And I always worked on, oh, you said that I always worked on Christmas. And I, this will be my last one. I'm actually doing one of my favorite Christmas traditions while listening, making rock candy. I haven't made rock candy since seventh grade home economics class. And I remember burning the mess out of my fingers. Is there a technique where, I guess you don't touch it, so you don't burn the mess out of my fingers. I answered myself. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're going to hop back into this roundup. Let me delete some of these things that I haven't done already. And remember, if you're just coming here to the live for the very first time, all these patterns will be linked down below. All right, so let me pull up my list. This one is called the Simple Feminine Scrunchie. Scrunchies are, make, <laughs> scrunchies are making a serious comeback in the fashion scene right now, and crochet scrunchies are no exception. I like the construction of this one because it's really simple and speedy, so make sure you check it out. The designer of this pattern is Selena Veronique. See, I'm loving the scrunchies. I prefer scrunchies myself. Hold on, let me pull this off. All right, let me tell you why I prefer scrunchies myself. I have such curly hair. If I put just one of those little thin headbands in my head, it's curtain. It's curtain if I put those little black ones that I'm talking about. I'm never getting it out. So therefore, scrunchies are my absolute favorite. Oh, and before I read this next pattern, once again, I forgot to ask you your question. So I asked you, what is your favorite tradition? I want you to tell me what is your favorite memory of the holidays? So before you put that answer, make sure you put question marks in front of it so you can tell me what your favorite memory is from the holidays. All right, let me find this one. This is called the Quick Face Scrubby. Pretty Spiral Ridges makes this extra scrubby and cute. Make a few gifts as a set in cotton. Wait, make a few gifts as is made in cotton. Crochet face scrubbies can be both functional and beautiful, don't you think? There's even a printable label to fancy it up just a little bit. The designer of this pattern is Winding Roads Crochet. Okay. So, like I said, there's a little bit of a delay. Make sure you answer, what is your favorite memory of the holiday? I'll go first. My favorite holiday memory, when I was a little girl, when I, uh, Santa, well, Santa Claus does exist, but after Santa Claus would come and put all the presents under the tree, my father, he was always so excited about Christmas. He's the biggest kid. He absolutely loves toys and he couldn't wait for us to see our Christmas presents. So he would wake us up like sometimes four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, 
We got a super chat. Let's see who gave us a super chat. Joyfully, my nose is clogged. I'm going to pronounce it. Joyfully ever after home with Venus Mason uh, Thunes. Did I say it right? I hope so. But thank you so much for the super chat. I want to say cheers to you. And you get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. Let me get the uh, pattern wheel up for you. Here we go. You win the... All right, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I can't find you to deliver the pattern to you, but if, don't worry if you can't remember that email address. It is linked down in the description box below. And thank you so much for donating. And oh, I gotta get my old ladies up and turn off the button. I really gotta buy me a new extension cord so I don't have to keep running back there. Whew. Cheers. Oh, I was telling my uh, favorite memory. So my dad, he would wake us up either four or five o'clock in the morning and I would be so groggy. But my dad, he would put me on top of his shoulders and walk me down to sleep, not down to sleep, down the steps. I was so sleepy. I can literally remember putting my hands over top of his head while being on his shoulders and just probably my dad wore me like a hat, carrying me downstairs just so I can see all the Christmas presents and walking around the corner and seeing a big Christmas tree. This happened like year after year. Eventually, I wasn't sitting on his shoulders anymore, but he would just wake me up and I would just be so groggy and he would drag me out and, and I could see all the presents. So that was my favorite Christmas memory. This time, I'll start at the bottom. And guys, I'm going to try my hardest to read your... Uh, comments but i'm a little bit nasally okay claptrap says my favorite memory was to play monopoly with the whole family not the most fun but most memorable was seeing santa walk past the house and bursting into tears convinced there would be no presents <laughs> oh don't worry you're late we still got a little bit more to go right now my question is what is your favorite memory from the holidays Mermaid says, listening to the best Christmas album ever with my mom. Merry Christmas from Johnny Mathis. Perfection. I want to go. It should be a chef kiss. Perfection. Uh, my fave says, I have a wonderful memory with my sister opening on the movie Ratatouille that I got for her. She screamed so loud. I was jumping in joy. So absolutely special. Sabrina says, making crafts and teaching kids how to ma make and decorate cookies. Holly says, being with my parents and family every holiday as a child. Oh, Marty has a little bit of my dad in him. Okay, Marty, waking everyone up at 3 a.m. I see you are a toy lover or just the joy of seeing somebody open all their toys. Let's see who I've got. We got Jennifer, haven't talked to you. She says, going sledding. I feel like here, it hasn't been snowing on Christmas. It's always wait to like get heavy snow after. All right, so we are going to hop right back into this. And excuse me for the stuffy nose. And if you'd like to check out any of these patterns, they're all linked down below. What have I missed? We have two more patterns coming up. So right now, I'm not going to ask you a question. If you have any questions for me, you can put a question mark in front of it and ask me anything you like. Or if you would like to show off something that you're working on right now, whatever you're crocheting, something you're making as gifts for other people, you can email me right now at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com and I'll share your work so everybody can see. You should be allowed to show off your work too. So, all right, let's hop back into this. Present share oh wait we have before i share cancel we have a super chat <gasps> hey maria thank you so much for the super chat cheers to you but let me read what she has to say let me clear my voice for you maria 
my dad was a truck driver and I meant my dad was a truck driver and missed a lot of holidays. One Christmas, I told Santa all I wanted was my dad home. No one knew that I asked for it. And he was home that year. I will always believe in Santa. Oh, cheers to you and your daddy coming home to you on Christmas. Oh, let me turn off the light for that. Oh, see, now you got me thinking, what was the movie, Natalie Wood, Little Girl, something, something, there is a Santa? What was the saying? Miracle on 34th Street, Virginia. Oh, I can't remember the saying, but there is a Santa Claus. And if anybody can put together the non-logical stuff I just said and figure out what quote I'm talking about from Miracle on 34th Street, something about something there is a Santa. I don't know. All right. So now we'll hop right back. Oh, you didn't get to spin the wheel of patterns. I almost forgot. My bad, Maria. Let me pull this up for you. Share. I hope you all have a happy holiday, Miss Maria. Maria is one of my things also. I still, I should find my keys. I still have your penny that you sent me two years ago, a year ago. You win my bubble hat. And remember, Maria, if you received this pattern before, my Etsy shop is linked below. You can tell me exactly what pattern that you would like. There we go. Back here. So remember, guys, if you have anything you want to share with me, send it to my email. All right, this next pattern, see if I can find it on my list that I'm reading from. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so bad, guys. Forgive me. This is called the Little Mitten Gift Card Holder. There's no shame in my gift card game. Why agonize over the perfect gift when you can just tell them to pick up something that they really love? Make it a little extra special and personal with a handmade gift card holder shaped like a little cute mitten. The designer of this pattern is Stitchin' Mommy. You know what? I mean, little gift card things, are those are cute. The little paper ones you stick inside. But I think this adds like a little extra personal touch. I like it better. So let me give you the very last one. Share. And the very last one on this list. I think this is something that we looked at last week when we were talking about uh, gifts for teenagers and things that you can attach to something so they won't lose. But these are earbud holders. You can make a pr you can make a pretty and safe place to store your headphones with these free crochet patterns. The multicolor sunburst design is sure to impress, and the envelope enclosure on the back means you don't have to mess around with a zipper or button. It's just like a keychain. The designer of this pattern is, I'm sorry, my nose is so stuffy, Crocheted Simplicity. Oh, guys, I'm having trouble breathing. At night, I'm laying in bed like, I can't breathe. I'm going to pass out. Is there any, any guys got any tips for getting rid of this sinus infection? I will not use Afrin because... Once upon a time, there's you can get Afrin addiction where you, your nose is just constantly clogged. I've tried Sudafed. I've tried Tylenol cold, severe sinus. I've tried the neti pot, the saline spray. I just can't get it undone. All right. So now I'm going to hop into my email, see if anybody sent something they would like to share. Present. All right, oh, we got two people. Carolina says she, oh, look at the piggy, making a bunch of small piggies. Those are cute. <laughs> I don't want to squeeze it. I like that. Let's see who else is in here. Oh, I, that's just the winner. No extra there. Make sure there wasn't an extra picture that I missed. Oh, yes. Georgetta. Okay, I almost missed these pictures. Okay, there we go. I like these. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. I have not made a 
wrist warmers or fingerless gloves in so long. You give me ideas. Mm. All right, let's see if anybody had any questions in the comments. So what's going on? Ask me anything. Oh, Santa was my dad. Speak. Well, I'll go through some other things before I start talking about myself. There we go. Elena says, it's not a good picture spot. Picture spot. Okay, your picture is not a good picture spot just yet. Uh, but I'm working on stuffed animal lion for one of my close friends. For some reason, when I'm reading it, the words were much bigger. Now they seem smaller. That's why I'm having trouble reading yours. Why is it so small now? Let's see if I can enlarge my screen. It won't let. Oh, because I'm still sharing screens. That's why. I, there we go. Oh, thank you. Joyfully ever after. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. That's exactly what I was talking about. How did you put what I was saying together? I was shooting off illogical stuff and you're on my brave link. I couldn't put it together if my life depended on it. Yep, there's another one. Yes, Virginia, there really, there really is a Santa Claus. Hey, Ginger, I love your name. Hello, I'm new to your channel. How are you doing? I can't complain. I'm drinking my adult cocoa. When I say adult cocoa, not no alcohol. It's my collagen cocoa. Mm. Trying to keep myself young. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Oh. Now the question, will you be doing anything for the holidays? Going anywhere special? Well, for this holiday, nothing. I'm not going anywhere special. We're just going to have presents opening up here in the mornings. And I'm going to have go have breakfast at my parents' house. And that's pretty much it. Usually Christmas is so exciting. But the second half of the day is like very, outside of dinners and whatnot, very anticlimactic. It's just like, let me clean up all the dishes. Let me clean up all the wrapping paper off the floor. Let me figure out how to put this toy together. Let me find the batteries for this toy because everything needs batteries and every toy is put together with these twisty ties and clips and these unbreakable, yeah. So that's usually my part of the day. Let's see, what have I missed? Oh, for nose. <laughs> Excuse me. My doctor prescribed a uh, six-day z pack. It helped tremendously. Also, have you tried? I have not tried a humidifier yet. And somebody else, I'm getting worse. So I'm going to hop off here before. I don't want to be gross and my nails aren't done. So I don't want to keep putting them in front of my face. Sniffing in front of you because it's pretty gross. <laughs> Claptrap says, Vix for clearing sinuses, garlic tea to first inhale and then to drink. Also, strong ginger root. I have ginger root. I don't garlic tea. I have garlic. How do you make garlic tea? I guess would you seep it just like that? I don't know. But I need something. But I'm I'm not going to talk too long, guys. I'm probably going to end this here. But wait, just in case. No, I'm not. We have two more people that sent something to the email. I don't want to miss you guys because we're not going to be doing this again until 2023. Man, next year. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to miss you. And somebody bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. There we go. <gasps> Look at the baby Grinch that stole Christmas. That Grinch doesn't. That's, that's a cute baby Grinch. I love that. <laughs> here oh making these for my sis isn't your pick but you're making oh is that knit oh no that's crochet it looks like knit because of the yarn but oh that's definitely front post stitches that's beautiful you should make me a pair too <laughs> but let's see if you are in the live stream and you just sent me a coffee i'm going to bring you up to the front just said love your channel but it doesn't give me my name. I have to click into my bought me a coffee account to see exactly who bought me a coffee. So I appreciate that so much. 
Oh, if you don't know what buy me a coffee is, it's another way to help support my channel and just say thank you for the things I do. It sounds pretty crazy when I say it about myself. It sounds very narcissistic, but that's what buy me a coffee is. I'm rambling today. Ah, breathe, humidifier. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I enjoyed talking with you all. And thank you so much for an amazing 2022. I'm excited for 2023 and to see what's going to happen next year. So thank you so much. And I guess I'll see you all next year. Bye, guys.